we don't have a lot of time or motivation to spend in our journals, but we want to do a little something for that day. So for those days, a perfect solution would be to work on a prompt that doesn't require a lot. So today we're going to tackle my prompt number 29 from my prompt list, which is linked below which states, create a page with butterflies and add a sentiment which expresses how you feel right now. Welcome, this is Barbara from Vienna, Austria. So I'm going to circle this prompt so that, I've know, so that I know that, it's, that I've done it. And we can think about where, where can I get my butterfly images from? So there's various options that we have. One option is if you have some vintage books perhaps that you've bought from a secondhand store or a flea market or some charity shop, we all love buying nature books, then I'm sure you have some images in those. And I can show you some examples from some of the nature book that I found at my Goodwill. So this is a German one. This is the title. So it has various nature images. And this is not even that old. This is from 1985. And it has beautiful butterfly images. So here's one, for example. And then here's another one. So you don't have to cut out the, the actual images, if you have the ability to make a copy, then you just make a copy. Then also with the copying, you could enlarge it or make it smaller. And there's another one here. So we have these kind of books. Then I also have this one. This one I found on a trip that I took a couple of years ago. And this is actually Czech, I believe. And there are lots of cute butterfly images here. These are beautiful illustrations. Look at these. This book is from I guess 1983-84. So also not even that old. Then I have one, this has, got, this has got to be one of my favorite nature books ever. It's again a German one. It's called Blick ins Buch der Natur, meaning a peek into the book of nature. And it has this beautiful linen cover. It is from... See if I can find a date, 1961. And I found some gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations in here. So you see these? Oh gosh, I just, I just love this style of illustration. It's just totally beautiful. And look at this double spread full of the most amazing butterflies. I mean, this book is such a treasure. Look at these cute illustrations. So I don't know if you would be able to find this somewhere, but it's an absolute treasure. So this, so here's again the information if you wanna try to find that somewhere, I don't know. And of course, we cannot forget the wonderful Edith Holden. So this is the famous country diary of an Edwardian lady. And of course, we have a bunch of beautiful butterfly images in here as well that you could copy and use in your journal. Here's one. Don't really like the snake. <laughs> Here's another one. There's tons in here and they are, of course, just absolutely beautiful there so the edith holden book if you don't have one of these yet i'm sure you can find these somewhere maybe ebay or or i don't know just search for this online 
if you don't have one, this is a must <laughs> for any junk journaler, especially if you're into nature. This is just such a classic. I think a lot of us have it already. Another source, of course, would be your stamps. I'm sure a lot of us already have beautiful butterfly stamps. If you need another one or if you don't have one, I can also link this one for you below. This one is from AliExpress. I got it quite a while ago. So what we could do with these is we could sp stamp it with some permanent ink. I like using this Ranger Jet Black one. I'm just using a regular white copy paper. So we stamp it on. And we fussy cut it. With these images or these stamps, I like to leave a small border. So I cut kind of like this. And then if we wanted to, we could color it. So this is why I used some permanent ink because now if I use anything water-based, the ink won't smudge. So I'm going to try to color it with my Tombow markers. These are pen, uh, brush pens and they are water soluble, but I'm not gonna use them that way. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna use them as markers. I don't know yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna use these. And you could, of course, use watercolor, you could use colored pencil, you could use water-soluble crayons or water-soluble colored pencils. There are no limits. So I haven't practiced this before. <laughs> I don't do this often. This is, this is more something that Joey Diffie is more practiced at, I would say. She has, she always does this. Actually, this is inspired by her because she, always uses her stamps so well and then she colors them and uses them in her journals so I really love that so I wanted to try to do something like that and I never do this so thank you Joy for that inspiration I love how we keep inspiring each other all the time everybody so I figure I'm gonna start with the darkest color on the inside and then I'll go a little lighter And on the tips, I will use some yellow. Yeah, I don't think we need to do anything. I don't even think I need to blend it or anything. So that's our butterfly. I'm actually really happy how that turned out. Or maybe you have a butterfly punch that you could use and then you could color it. I used to have a beautiful one and I broke it, so I was very sad. So currently I don't have one, but for this journal spread, I'm going to do something else. So I've linked this site before. It is the Biodiversity Heritage site, which has free images for you to use. And these are some examples of what I have printed out. So these are butterfly images. They are completely free and I will show you how I get to these kind of pages step by step. So these are the butterflies or the kind of butterflies that I'm going to be using in this very simple spread today. So here we are on the Biodiversity Heritage Library site. Again, this is linked below for you. These are the kind of images you will see on their home page. So now if we type in on the top in the search field, we type in, for example, butterfly. then this is what we get and we get a bunch of photos. This is not what we're currently looking for. They are beautiful, but it's not what I'm going for. So instead, we're going to type butterfly images, or no, sorry, we're, no. So we're going to type in <laughs> butterfly illustrations and this is more starting to look like what we want, but of course we don't want anything that's copyrighted. 
So we're going to add one more filter. So you see there on the left it says any license and we don't want any license. There's a few different options for you here. And I'm going to choose no known copyright restrictions. That is important if you're going to use this in your work. So now we get to the beautiful butterfly images that we can use in our journals and which look a lot more vintage. So this is just perfect. So I'm going to choose one of these and I just click on it. So that's the one I chose and it will open another window and here I can now download it on the right bottom. You can't see it here, but on the right bottom it has a download button and you can choose the size. I always go for the original size. So then it downloads onto your computer. And now you can open up, for example, the easiest way would be for you to open up a Word document. So now I'm in Word and I'm going to just say insert. And on a PC this might look a little bit different, but it's the same principle. I'm using a Mac. So I'm inserting my image from the computer. I'm choosing my image and there we have it. So now it's way too big and I'm just going to grab those corners and make it as small as I want it to be. Then I go back to our website. We go back on the left top to our search results. We choose another beautiful image. I'm going to choose those with the blue. Again, we're going to download it in the original size. And then we go back to our Word document. Again, we choose insert, picture from file. We go look where our newly downloaded image is. We choose that one. It downloads again, fairly big. You could of course also download them small from the beginning. I always kind of like working with the original sizes. Now you, you just again make it as small as you want it and there you have them next to each other and you just keep building and building this page until you have all the butterflies you want and you print them out. It's as easy as that. So here I'm just showing you what it looks like now when I view the whole page and there you go. So I have cut out these three butterflies that I'm going to use in my spread today. And I have already also edged them with my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide and I know you can't see it, but I just wanted to do that to get rid of the white edges of the paper. So now I'm going to go to my signature that I'm currently working on. And so we've done these three. I have a playlist of all my junk journals from a junk journal with me from this year. So I will link that playlist down below for you as well in case you've missed any. And so I'm going to be working on this page. So you see it has these beautiful floral images and I just thought adding some butterflies would be so cute. So I just want to kind of add them in random places. And if you know me, I always like to balance my images or collages by using uneven numbers. And I like the number three. So that's why I chose three and I chose blue butterflies because I think they pop out more on, the, on this background. So I think this is kind of a nice setup. So I'm simply going to glue these down now and I'm going to use my heart glitter glue, which I have fallen in love with. <laughs> I will link that for you below as well. But of course you use any glue, you use glue stick or tacky glue or whatever you have on hand. No need to buy anything extra.
let's just see so this would be a fourth one which is why I'm not going to add it but it would have also been actually a really cute addition actually now I'm sad <laughs> but I can't add him because four I just don't like having an even number so four I wouldn't do five is a bit much <laughs> you know what I'm gonna get rid of this one I can use him in something else if I can manage to take him off yeah okay he kind of tore okay I'm sorry little guy I'm so sorry so instead I will put my own one here actually because of course it's more special when you've actually made something yourself I am going to ink around those white edges that I left you can go as fancy as you want with these butterflies of course you can make a totally stunning and intricate butterfly collage you can go all out there's no limits obviously <laughs> but i was just thinking if you don't have a lot of time or you don't feel like doing a lot this would be a really really easy option if you have any kind of floral pages just add some butterflies i think it's so adorable and now all we need to do is to add a sentiment of how I feel today. Oh, before I do that, I actually forgot. I wanted to add, because on these two, I cut off the feelers, unfortunately, <laughs> because they were just too hard to fussy cut. So I'm going to add some feelers here and I'm just gonna use my Pigma Micron pen. I have it in 04. You can use any pen you like, as long as it's thin enough. And I am simply going to draw those feelers so that these poor butterflies are whole again. So one and two, that's better. For this sentiment, I'm going to challenge myself to write it in calligraphy, which I have been neglecting for a really long time now. So. That's why I wanted to challenge myself. I'm going to be using a two millimeter nib with my black, this is a regular black calligraphy ink. It's an Indian ink. And I'm going to apply it with a brush. So I'm not dipping my pen directly into the ink. I'm applying it with a brush. This is a regular paint brush which I am dipping into the ink and then I'm loading up my tip here. So let's see how this goes. I'm really completely out of practice. So let's see what I can still do if I can do anything still. So the word I wanted to write was grateful. started out real rocky <laughs> but i'm gonna leave it at that i think that's fine i will wait for this to dry then erase my pencil lines the guiding lines so by the way this script is called in german it's called halb unziale or in english it's called either half anschel or semi anschel and it was used in Latin manuscripts around the final years of the fifth century to the end of the eighth, sorry, to the end of the eighth century. So now I'm going to, I'm going to just tear this with my ruler. And of course I am inking this up with my vintage photo. I really need to practice calligraphy. This, this is kind of depressing. <laughs> I actually had to look up how to write the, 
these letters again i learned so many different kinds of calligraphy scripts i was taking a course a german course and when every two weeks i was learning a different script so i got so confused <laughs> so i didn't know anymore what was what anyway so we have this grateful here we just need to find the perfect spot for it It's a bit big for my page. <laughs> I would have liked it to be smaller, but I'm not gonna write it again. So I'm just gonna go with this one. Obviously, if you don't do calligraphy, you can stamp it or you can find, you know, you can find so many sentiments around. I'm sure you have plenty stickers or whatever. I can't decide. Kind of wish I could put it a little bit under that butterfly. Let's see if I can maybe lift one of the butterfly wings and kind of have that go over the grateful. So I have my craft knife and I'm going to gently try to lift this without completely tearing it. Oh, this is hard. This is really stuck down, this glue. <laughs> I'm taking away the page as I'm going along, but that's okay. We won't see that. I just want like the tip of the wing. Oh gosh, this is nerve wracking. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. I'm literally slicing the page, but that's okay because the word will go over it. I have completely butchered this. Do you see this? But let's see if this works. I'll just do it. That's okay, I like that. <laughs> so that's our super easy and quick journal page for today. I hope you'll try one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah.